limerence. What is limerence and what does this mean? I had multiple clients asking me to do this video. And so I want to talk about what limerence is when it comes to your obsessive thoughts. Now, first I want to stop, start with the Wikipedia definition of limerence. Limerence is a state of mind, which results from romantic or non-romantic feelings for another person and typically involves or includes obsessive thoughts and fantasies and a desire to form or maintain a relationship with the object of love and have one's feelings reciprocated. Limerence can also be defined as an involuntary state of intense desire. Let me just say something about being highly attracted to someone, AKA butterflies, and then limerence. Now, it is natural to feel butterflies with someone. So many men I speak to get so scared of this feeling because they don't want to be obsessed. They don't want to be needy. They think if I think about her, then this is bad. Trust yourself, men. In this video, I'm going to define what limerence is so I can help you determine what you may be going through and also how to turn this around. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Ponti. I am your dating relationship and life coach, and I help men really master their attraction skills overall, build the life that they want, and get them results not only with women, but in their life. So let's get into it. Limerence is obsession and also can be interpreted by infatuation. Limerence is fantasy thinking and also intrusive thinking. Limerence is a heightened emotion that makes you not able to focus or anything else. Limerence can be heightened by passion, chemistry, but also triggered by abandonment. Here are some signs for you to distinguish because that's what I want to do. If you have gone through a state of limerence or going through one, and then if you are, don't worry, I will give you a few coaching tips to get out of this, but also too, it's really important that you understand we give you this support in our membership platform and we could give you constant coaching at a low, low price. I would really encourage you to look at that below in the description box. Let's get into sign number one. Sign number one is you find yourself lost and over 50% of the time, not being able to concentrate and fantasizing about this person. Maybe you have sexual fantasies or like to have to save her storylines. Like I want to save her type of storylines. This is a state of limerips, a session start, starts to set in. Sign number two is the relationship is really non-existent really, or it's kind of shallow, or it's just in the early stages and you are constantly fantasizing about the future that your guys can have together. Now, number three, sign number three is you are anxious. Possibly you're feeling nervous all the time around them, maybe even dizzy, sweaty, or maybe even shut down. Maybe you even have an extreme heart palpitations. Now there's a difference though, from just being nervous and sweaty, but it, this is an extreme guys. This is extreme. This happens possibly when you are in front of them or also when you are waiting on a phone call from them, or maybe even a text message from them. Now, sign number four is she has told you that this is not what she wants or it will never work out, but you continue to think it's something more, or you continue to think that you can fix this. This is a state of you basically turning back on you because you know, if I turn the situation back on me, then I can fix it. So instead of saying this isn't the one or it won't work, you're used to you being the one to fix it. And you obsess about how you can make her want you or how you can fix it because this is a state of control for you. Example, if I can turn this around and I know I have control over this, so I'm going to be able to fix this situation. So I'm going to turn it around and, and blame it on myself because if I fix myself and I say this, even though she said she doesn't want this and want me, I'm going to be highly, highly in control. So then I can fix the situation so I can get her back. Now, this does not mean in regards to trying to reattract someone. This is only in a state of limerence guys. So this comes with just stack signals. It's just more than sign number four. It's more of sign number four. It has to be sign number four, maybe two, one and five, whatever the case is, it has to be stack signs. Sign number five is you try to accidentally run into them somewhere, maybe bumping into her. This can also be an obsession or it can be very creepy or stalkerish, but you may always make sure your schedule is to run into her somewhere most of the time. 
Sign number six is you feel this out of the world connection with them, almost like this magnetic force, right? Something that you've never felt before. And you believe this is your soulmate, but you barely even know each other. Think about it. And then sign number seven is you are not able to date around or bond with another person because you are in an erratic thought about a non-existing relationship. And then sign number eight is you are hyper obsessed with everything they do, where they go, who they talk to, and you need the reactions towards you. Your whole day may revolve around them and the interactions with them only. Sign number nine is you are highly motivated and then you're highly discouraged by their moods. When they withdraw, you seek into a deep depression. And when they are into you, you are in a raging endorphin height. There are no middle grounds for you in this sign, basically. Then sign number 10 is you feel like you can't live without them. You long for their affection and their approval. Now this means in the state of limerence does not mean that I've been married for 10 years and this is the way we're thinking and it's only sign that last sign. No, this is a really important sign that these, if you're experienced more than three of these signs then you are in a state of a limerence, either three or four of these signs. So if you want help in really dissecting and how to rework this and really getting out of that abandonment, I want you to, click below and I want you to check out my codependent program that I've actually built myself. I was highly codependent in my life growing up to be very honest with you. And I had a lot of attachments as well. I want you to look below on this description box below and really just click that link and see if it's something that speaks to you. This might break free codependency program and also an attachment program that I'm going to put down here. And if you want to start little by little and really just get to know me, my coaches get ongoing coaching and support. I want you to sign up for a membership program. This membership program is like no other guys. I want you to comment below. Tell me what you think. If this has happened to you, if you've seen this happen. Share it with a friend also too that might be going through a hard time that needs this video. If you want to continue to watch more, I have something for you that I made right over here for you, this special video. And also I have my free ebook down below. It's my seven common mistake ebook that men make when attracting women. I'll see you in the next video. And remember you are always loved. Bye for now.